that we're going to start with is a simple run which is a great way to get your heart rate up. Just pick two objects that you can run between. In this video here I chose two garbage cans. It doesn't matter what the exact distance between them is, just make sure that you don't pick something that can stand up and walk away. Five push-ups here. Remember to keep your body in a straight line, your elbows as close to your side as possible. Pretend there's a hundred dollar bill under your armpits and your chest touches the ground each and every time. Knee push-ups are a great modification if you're not ready for regular push-ups. And here we've got 10 inverted rows. Again, remember to keep a straight line with your body and pull your shoulder blades back and down. Note how I pause between each rep to breathe in, reset, and tighten my body. Your horizontal positioning here will determine the difficulty of this movement. The lower you go, the harder the row. We follow those with 15 squats. With your feet shoulder width apart, send your hips back and down while pushing your knees out to the side, making room for your hips to drop below parallel. Keep your chest up at all times with your back straight. I could actually use some correction here as my back rounds just a little when I hit the bottom, which means I went about an inch lower than my mobility allows. So do your best, but always listen to your body. We'll do the push-ups, rows, and squats four more times for a total of five rounds and finish it off with a run at the same distance that you started with. If you're feeling super energetic, rest for three minutes and then repeat the whole workout. When you're all hot and sweaty, race right into the water for an all-natural cool down. <laughs> 